Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, David the Beer Dad, back again to do another beer review for you. Going to do the last of this month's fanzine beers from Brewdog. Um, if you've been watching the last couple of reviews I've done, I have done the um, Off Duty Clown and the Serial Imperial. And the Serial Imperial for me, of the two I've had, has been brilliant. It's been probably one of the best recent. Um, Beers from the brood, from the fanzine series. It was really tasty, really unusual. It's considered as experimental like the double IPA. It wasn't what you'd normally get. Anyway, moving on. Um, so that leaves us with one left. And again, if you wanted to unbox a video, which is a couple of a couple of videos back, you'll know that we've got confectionist perfectionist. This is an uh, eight percent. Eight percent. Yeah, eight percent. Let me get to the old box of. Little card out the box. So, perfectionist, perfectionist, six percent. I said shocking. Six percent. Forty-three IBUs. Original gravity is one point zero six five. Uh, malts are uh, pale, cara, chocolate, beet, and Vienna. Um, amber, roasted barley, carafe, and flaked oats. There's a lot of malt in there. Cat lobster, Columbus, and fair's gold, and the additions of milk sugar. Okay, I am. Um, before I get into the review, for those of you who don't know what fanzine is and watching for the first time, three beers sent to you every month by Brewdog. Um, they are experimental beers, new brews, rehashes, uh, vintage beers, uh, right across the range. Cost you 11 quid. Um, get on the website, link below, and have a little look. These will probably be on in the bars, in Brewdog bars already. I haven't looked in the Brewdog Liverpool, I assume they are, only because. Uh, collab fest has not long finished and um, I think that I'm assuming they're going to be on if they're not on now they'll certainly be on this weekend so 6% marshmallow dessert stout let's pop it open let's see what we've got Pour the rest in when I've got a little bit more room. So beer in a glass, what are we looking at? The obligatory jet black. No light getting through that whatsoever. Two fingers, two and a half fingers of ridiculously poured head by me. Very tightly compact, small bubbles. Very tightly compact, a little bit spongy on that side, but mostly it's tightly compact. Very um, creme brulee, um, cappuccino sort of latte type head on it um it looks beautiful let's get a nose that's what we can smell chocolate vanilla um caramel like a burnt sugar Roasted malt. Oh, it smells really, really nice. It's really good. Okay, let's go for the body of the carb. Right, okay. Um, carb is light, medium, body. Light, light medium. I would, I would expect a little bit of bit of body to this one, um, but not got it. Let's go for a big old taste. Marshmallows, vanilla, marshmallows, cream. A little bit of bitter backbone, but this sweet. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, wow. It reminds me of um, Flump's Twisty Marshmallow Sweets. Um, it reminds me of it's invoking memories of walking through a, like a carnival 
by a, a, a fair, the hook and duck and all that type of caper. It reminds me of that. Um, oh, the, that is really good. That's really good. <sighs> yeah, just proper, sweet, rich, chewy, sticky marshmallows. And again, this like bitter malt backbone that just offsets the sweetness and it's balanced so well. 6% is it's drinking like a like a four. Oh, that is that beautiful. That is really, really good. Wow. It's a winner. It is an absolute winner. Nice lacing on the glass. <coughs> Not bad for 43 IBUs, as someone would say. Um, that has got everything you need. If you like sweet, slightly rich, sugary beer, beer, yeah, stouts. Oh, so, what's it say on the back here? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Put the, put the long hours in for this um, deep dark stout uh, destined for tuck shop um, greatness. Huge in aromas of marshmallow, mocha, didn't get the mocha, um, creme brulee and cocoa. There's a little bit of chocolate there. Um, spill out from the glass. Um, loading it onto a full body delight. Designed to make to make you feel like you're a kid in a candy shop. Um, you deserve it. And that's it, it does. You know, it reminds me of little, little cold nights walking around, you know, bonfire nights, walking around with a bag of sweets, bag of jellies, um, bag of flumps, um, marshmallows. It, it really does. It invokes memories. And that is a really good thing about a beer. It's an excellent thing when a beer does that. And this one does it really, really well for me. And I've said really a lot on, on this video. Um, but this is just this is gorgeous this is borderline faultless this beer for me I am um, perfectionist perfectionist by Brewdog do I like it? yeah if it became a mainstream beer I would buy this a lot I really would um, I would buy it again um, would I recommend it to friends? yes I would one thing I didn't tell you was what the expiry date is on it which is the 5th of October 20 says so there um, this is outstanding if you can get the, I think I think and like I've said about a lot of the fanzine beers you get them they, they're, they're okay in the tin but when you get them in the bar they're, some of them become something a little bit special I think this is going to be one of those drinks that's going to be a little bit special um, and it don't it won't hang around so if you've got a local brew dog near you um, get in there get a third of this or get a half of this or a two thirds of this Get it down your gullet and let me know what you think because I think this is going to be stunning on draft, on tap, on keg, whatever you want. Whatever they, they save it to you, this is going to be beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me. So the link down there below, I am hopefully the, this will come forward as one of the as one of the, the backups to zombie cake. Um if not, it'll take zombie cake's place because it's better than zombie cake. Um is it better than Jet Black Heart? Oh, I don't know. It's 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 there or thereabouts. Um, but definitely better than zombie cake. Um, let me know if you've had this beer put a comment below please if you like the video give me the thumbs up if you like the video give me the thumbs down comment below if you're watching for the first time hit the subscribe button this goes into the oh my hands a little bit left into the recycle shortly I'll see you on the next one double hands out hail the ale and happy drinking <laughs>